schools are going to be safe for their kids to return? Our, our schools are safe. We've got a mountain of evidence of that fact starting back in February of last of this year when we first reopened elementary schools, signed a deal ratified by the CTU House of Delegates, and then um, signed a second deal ratified by the CTU House of Delegates in reopening our high schools. Um, there, and, and before that, um, we had the um, other schools in the city, uh, notably the Archdiocese, that opened a five-day in-person learning in the fall of last year. So it, let me remind you that CPS uh, put in $100 million uh, in COVID mitigation efforts um, over the course of last school year to be able to open up safely. That was everything from uh, uh, improving ventilation systems, air purifiers in every uh, classroom that was being utilized, um, PPE equipment, and a number of um, other uh, 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 factors that were invested in to make sure that the schools were safe, and in fact, they were safe. We opened back up last spring uh, with very few incidences of COVID and nothing that uh, necessitated us um, shutting any schools down. So we started the process with CTU uh, really um, at the end of school year in June, I think we're close. There's no dispute that everyone agrees that we're going to open up next week on Monday, uh, August 30th, five days a week in person. Um, there's no dispute that um, teachers and um, other staff of CPS will be vaccinated as a requirement um, starting uh, October 15th. So the big picture issues um, we're all in alignment on. I think there are a few other details that need to be worked out. Um, but. We're ready to open up next Monday. Where are you in your search for a replacement for Janice Jackson? And the, do you have two, two finalists picked already? The, 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 the process is ongoing, but um, out of deference to uh, the people who applied, we promised a confidential process, so we're not going to comment uh, further until we have a finalist. Before I pass it on, uh, Craig Delamore asked me to ask a question, so I'll just ask this. Um, <clears throat> your thoughts on the proposals to rename the Animal Control and Care Center for Ella French, who was a big lover of animals. There's a uh, Petition, under, petition underway. Yeah, I, I, I know from talking to Ella's mom um, that she cared deeply uh, about animals and particularly uh, making sure that there were opportunities for rescue animals. I appreciate the enthusiasm of the people that um, have signed this uh, petition um, and we'll um, uh, look into uh, what other ways in which we can as a city um, honor Ella French and her sacrifice and service to the city. Uh, uh, let me also just say, um, I missed his last day on Friday, but I also want to wish uh, Bill Cameron well. Mayor, to Mom Bradley, Channel 9. Uh, Mayor, just to return to CPS for a second, mm -hmm. Jesse Sharkey is calling on the district to hire more clinicians, special education teachers, and support staff. Do you see a need for that? Are you confident that uh, it, there's enough staff in schools to carry out uh, the mitigations and safety protocols? Oh, I'm 100% confident that on the COVID-19, um, and we're going to continue to fulfill um, our obligations under the Collective Bargaining Act, um, a, a collective bargaining agreement, which we signed um, almost two years ago uh, with the CTU. So we're making progress on meeting those um, hiring uh, objectives that are laid out um, in that collective bargaining agreement, and we're going to continue uh, to make progress. Marianne Ahern, Channel 5. Mayor, as of today, 